masaya nating ipaghanda ang pagdating ng manunubos tagapagligtas nating tumiri mga landas mga alitan ay tapusin sapagkat si Kristo'y darating Masaya nating ipaghanda ang pagdating ng manunubos tagapagligtas nating tumiri mga landas mga alitan ay tapusin sapagkat si Kristo'y darating Masaya nating ipaghanda ang pagdating ng manunubos tagapagligtas nating tumiri mga landas mga alitan ay tapusin sapagkat si Kristo'y darating Masaya nating ipaghanda ang pagdating ng manunubos tagapagligtas nating tumiri mga landas mga alitan ay tapusin sapagkat si Kristo'y darating In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will we praise you we bless you we adore you we glorify you we give you thanks for your great glory Lord God heavenly King O God Almighty
Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. David proposes to build a temple for the Lord. The Lord chooses instead to build the house or dynasty of David. From David's descendants will come the Messiah. A reading from the second book of Samuel. When King David was settled in his palace and the Lord had given him rest, from his enemies on every side, he said to Nathan the prophet, Here I am, living in the house of Seder, while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan answered the king, Go, do whatever you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that night, the Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, Thus says the Lord, Should you build me a house to dwell in? It was I who took you from the pasture and from the care of the flock to be commander of my people, Israel. I have been with you wherever you went, and I have destroyed all your enemies before you, and I will make you famous like the great ones of the earth. I will fix a place for my people Israel. I will plant them so that they may dwell in their place without further disturbance. Neither shall the wicked continue to afflict them as they did of old, since the time I first appointed judges over my people Israel. I will give you rest from all your enemies. The Lord also reveals to you that he will establish a house for you. And when your time comes, and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up you, your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever the word of the lord thanks be to god forever i will sing the goodness of the lord forever i will sing the goodness of the lord the promises of the lord i will sing forever through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness for you have said my kindness is established forever. In heaven, you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever, I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. Forever I will sing goodness of the Lord. God's loving plan of salvation, 
hidden for many ages, is revealed with the coming of Jesus Christ. And this is made known both to Israel and the Gentiles. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, to him who can strengthen you, according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery kept secret for long ages, but now manifested to the prophetic writing and according to the command of the eternal God, made known to all nations to bring about the obedience of faith. To the only wise God, through Jesus Christ, be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ikaapat at huling linggo ng Adbiento ngayon. Ikasyam at huling araw ng pagnunubena natin para sa araw ng Pasko. Napakabilis nga nung araw, ano? 
At makikita natin mula nung magsimula tayo ng Adviento apat na linggo na nakararaan, ay unti-unti yung mga developments na atin nakikita, kahit physically. Limbawa dito sa ating simbahan, dati hindi ganito karami mga parol na nakikita natin. Pero ngayon kahit saan mo ibaling ang tingin mo, may makikita kang parol. Dati, yung kandila na naroon yung Advent wreath natin, isa lang ang sindi. Ngayon, apat na. Dati rin, wala pang bilin dyan. Ngayon, naroon na rin ang imahe ni na Maria at ni Jose. Dati, wala pa rin mga reindeer. Ngayon, dalawa na sila narito sa likod natin. At hindi lamang physically nakita nating development ng mga pangyayari, pero maging sa mga tema ng apat na linggo ng Adviento. Alimbawa, sa unang linggo ng Adviento, ang panawagan sa atin, gumising, wake up. Nung pangalawang linggo ng Adviento, ang sabi sa atin, tuwirin ang dadaanan ng Panginoon. At nung nakaraang linggo, ikatlong linggo ng Adviento, ang sabi sa atin, magalak. At sa araw na ito, ang panawagan sa atin, pinapaalala sa atin, The Lord is with you. Suma sa iyo ang Panginoon. Yun ang tinuran ng anghel sa kanyang pagdalaw kay Maria. Sum ang Panginoon ay suma sa iyo. At may kita natin sa mga pagbasa natin sa araw na ito, sa unang pagbasa at sa Ibanghelyo, ito yung tungkol sa mga taong napupuspos ng presensya ng Diyos. Suma sa kanila ang Diyos. Sa unang pagbasa, natunghaya natin ang kwento ni Haring David. At dito sa ating Ibanghelyo, tungkol naman sa kwento ni Maria. Dalawa magkaibang tao na nabuhay sa magkaibang panahon. Subalit, mayroong common about them. Sila yung mga ordinaryong tao na tinawag ng Panginoon. Si David, halimbawa, hindi inakala maging nung kanyang ama na karapat dapat na maging hari. Kaya nga nung nagtanong yung propeta kung sino ang pwede niyang i-anoint ng langis, hindi niya dinala unang-una si David. Dahil ang isip ng tatay niya, ordinaryong tao lamang to si David na mamastol. Ganon din si Maria, isang ordinaryong babae na walang mag-aakalang siya ang magiging ina ng anak ng Diyos. Subalit may nakita ang Diyos sa kay David at kay Maria na hindi nakita ng mga tao. Si Haring David nakita ng Panginoon Diyos na ito ay maaring maging hari ng Israel. Si Maria, nakita ng Diyos, maari itong maging ina ng kanyang anak. And besides being common people, there is something also, there is something that binds David and Mary. Doon sa dalawang kwento, it's all related to the concept of a home. Tahanan. Halimbawa, si Haring David, nung siya'y nabubuhay, nung ma-realize na napakaganda nung kanyang tinitirhan, sinabi niya, bakit hindi ko kaya pagawan ng tahanan ang Diyos? Ako nakatira sa Marangyang Kastilyo, ang Diyos nakatira lamang sa isang kubol. Kaya't nais kong igawa ng tahanan ang Diyos. Pero anong sabi ng Diyos? Sabi ng Diyos sa kay David, David, ako ang gagawa ng tahanan para sa iyo. At ang iyong tahanan, ang iyong kaharian ay magiging magpakailanman. It will last forever. Kay Maria naman, tungkol din sa tahanan yung pagdalaw ng anghel sa kanya. Na kaya sa dinalaw ng anghel ay dahil gusto ng Diyos na manahan sa kanyang sinapupunan. Nais ng Diyos na gumawa ng tahanan sa pamamagitan ni Maria. 
At ito, dito nagsimula yung kwento ng ating pagliligtas sa pagnanais ng Diyos na gumawa ng tahanan sa atin, lalong-lalo na sa kay Maria. Kung titingnan natin yung kwento ni Maria, parang nakakatakot, sabi nga nila. Dahil kung ikaw man, nandun ka sa kwarto mo, nag-iisa ka, biglang may dumating sa iyo, hindi mo kilala kung sino. Matatakot ka. At lalo pa kung meron siyang mensahe sa iyo na hindi mo lubos maisip kung ano ang ibig ipahiwati. Ikaw, Maria, ay maglilihi. Siyempre, hindi mo maintindihan yun. Subalit, si Maria, dahil sa kaniyang pananampalataya sa Diyos, ay nagawa niyang tanggapin yung sinabi ng anghel sa kanya. Nagawa niyang ibigay yung kanyang oo sa Panginoon. At ang, dag, ang naging turan lamang niya ay maganap na wa sa akin ang iyong salita. May it be done unto me according to your word. Siguro para sa atin na mga na nagsimba mula po nung unang araw ng pagsisimbang gabi, bawat isa sa atin ay may mga daladalang kahilingan sa Diyos. Kasi meron tayong paniniwala no, na kapag may gusto kang dasal, may krong kang hinihiling sa Diyos, isimba mo ng siyam na araw sa simbang gabi at pagkatapos ng nine days ay matutupad ang iyong panalangin. Pero pwede nating ibahin yung ganong pag-iisip na hindi lamang yung panalangin natin na ito ang masunod, pero higit sa lahat, sana sa siyam na araw nating pagsisimba, tulad ni Maria, maibigay din natin yung oo natin sa Diyos. That we say yes to God and we tell Him, Lord, let it be done unto me according to your word. Kasi minsan kung tayo ay laging humihiling lamang sa Diyos, it's like we are commanding God, Lord, gawin mo ito. Ako ang masusunod dapat. Pero hindi ba mas maganda na ngayong magpapasko, we let God be God. We allow Him to do what He pleases with us. And we just simply say, Lord, let it be done unto me according to your word. And siguro mas magiging masaya at makahulugan ang ating Pasko. Dahil pag ganun yung ating pananaw, yung Pasko natin hindi lamang tungkol sa atin, hindi tungkol sa gusto natin, pero tungkol sa ating pagmamahal sa Diyos, tungkol sa ating pasasalamat sa Diyos. Let it be done unto me according to your will. Ako ay instrumento ng Panginoon, maganap na was sa akin ang iyong kalooban. And I believe when we always have that in our mind, we will not celebrate a self-centered Christmas, but we will be celebrating a more Christ-centered Christmas. Kaya itong halimbawa ng ating mahal na ina, yung kanyang pananampalataya, yung kanyang pagtugon sa Diyos na way matulara natin ng magkaroon ng tahanan din sa ating mga puso ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Please all stand. I believe in one God, the Father <coughs> Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary 
and became man. For our, For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As the day of the Savior's coming draws near, let us intensify our prayers and like Mary, open our hearts to our Heavenly Father. With hope-filled joy, we pray, God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. Like the Virgin Mary, may the church, your beloved people, be ready to welcome Christ, the Savior, in their hearts this Christmas and share it joyfully with others. We pray. God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. Like the Virgin Mary, may government and civil leaders heed the message of your word and serve the common good of all. We pray. Source of our joy, listen to our prayer. May the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary help the poor, the disadvantaged, the lonely and abandoned, and may they experience the Lord's consolation through the efforts of people who minister to them. We pray. God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. Like the Virgin Mary, may our families be active in their faith and prayer through the partaking of the sacraments, especially the Holy Eucharist and the sacrament of penance in the service to the needy, we pray. May the Lord welcome to the joy of paradise those who have gone ahead of us, we pray. God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community, for the intention of this Mass, for the intentions of the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions. We pray. Let us pray for Reverend Father Gisipe Pietro V. Arskivals, OP, who is celebrating his birthday today. We pray. God our Father, hear our humble prayers and petitions. Fill us with deep faith and joy as we prepare to receive Christ like Mary. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Yeah. 
ang aming puso upang dito'y manan ka sa pagdating mo. Panginoon, aming handog ang tinapay at alat-alay ng bayang umaasa sa pagdating mo. Gayong din aming hinahanda ang aming puso upang dito'y manan ka sa pagdating mo. Panginoon, aming handog ang tilapay at alakalay ng bayang umaasa sa pagdating Aming hinahanda ang aming puso upang dito'y manan ka sa pagdating mo. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, sanctify these gifts laid upon your altar, just as He filled with His power the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that we are already rejoicing at the mystery of his nativity so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exalt unto in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Created, rightly gives you praise. 
For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said a blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on his constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. 
through him and with him and in him. O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Salanan ng sanlibutan. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only see the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast day of our salvation draws ever nearer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your Son's Nativity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of his only begotten Son and yearn for his coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent and enrich you with his blessing. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, may he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of her goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. You may bring them out if you have them with you. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Oh, 